Hey everybody, this is Mr. Lee. Uh, I'm your instructor for uh, Math 171 Online, A Session. Uh, this is going to be our welcome video. Um, wanted to take a second to introduce myself and uh, make it clear I'm, I'm here as a resource. I'm here to support you. So please reach out if there's anything I can do to help. Um, th this video is focused on policies and procedures for the course, so you can really focus in on course content um, and feel comfortable that you're doing the right thing. Um, so I'm going to try to keep this video to 10 minutes. We'll see how it goes. Um, first thing I wanted to point out, um, there is a partial Blackboard opening on August 13th. No assignments will be available and very little course material is available on August 13th. Uh, the full Blackboard opens the morning of Tuesday, August 15th. Tuesday, August 15th is when you really need to get rocking and rolling with this course. Uh, the only thing you need to do on the 15th is the course entry assignment. We're going to go over that. Our first uh, homework assignment is due on Wednesday. All right, so I have Blackboard pulled up here. Uh, if you click on courses, you should see all the courses you are enrolled in. The courses I'm actively working on, I put stars on them. And you see our course right here, Math 171. 830A for A session. It should land you on coursework. This is where you'll spend most of your time. And uh, there should be a menu to the left. If not, you'll have to pull it out. And your stuff's going to look a little different to mine because I'm in instructor view and you have student view. Um, announcements I'll post this video in announcements. Start here. Not a whole lot there. The syllabus we're going to talk about in just a second. We're going to go over the syllabus, coursework's where you spend most of your time, and then the course entry assignment. This is important. Please complete it on Tuesday. It's not for a grade. You can't get it wrong, but if you don't do it, the computer system is going to kick you out of the course. I don't want to see that happen to you. So please go complete the course entry assignment. Please do it on the first day. That way you have nothing to worry about. All right, uh, instructor contact, that's me right here. Uh, you see here my email address. Emailing me is the easiest way to get in touch with me. I try to be very responsive to emails. Um, so please, if you have any questions, any concerns, shoot me an email, keep me in the loop. And um, I usually get back to students within an hour. Sometimes I get back to you in a minute or two. Um, unless I'm in a meeting, teaching, driving, or asleep, uh, I get back to students really quickly. So please reach out if I can help. Uh, I'm not in the office super regularly, so the phone's not great, but I do have an office here on campus. Okay, uh, I have a Zoom meeting room in case we need to meet virtually. Uh, campus resources. Uh, the Learning Center offers free tutoring for this course. It's a great way to get extra support. Um, discussion board has the course entry assignment, which you can also get by clicking up here. Okay, and then my grades gives you a snapshot of where you stand in the course. I do want to warn you, I do think that everything is correct, but uh, Blackboard has a bug in it where it will show the due dates wrong here under my grades. And I have, Blackboard automatically populates this. I don't have a way to fix it. I do think currently they're all correct. But please use the pacing guide that's at the bottom of the syllabus. I'm not trying to make you seasick, but let me show you. The pacing guide here. Or use the due date that is on the assignment itself. Those two will always be correct. The due date under my grades uh, can be pretty buggy. I do think at this current moment it is showing correctly, but sometimes it, it populates this. I cannot fix it or change it, and sometimes it gets it wrong and there's nothing I can do about it. So don't look there for due dates, please. Okay, um, I've gone five minutes. I'm going to spend the last five minutes talking about the syllabus. How does that sound? I might go over. Okay, so this is um, a pre-calc algebra class, so uh, algebra-based pre-calc class. Uh, this class is 100% online. We have no formal meeting times. 
but if you do want to meet with me, please reach out and let me know. We'll work something out. Um, I go by Mr. Lee. My full name is Grady Lee Wilson Withers. Pronouns. Email is the best way to get in touch with me. If you have a question, you have something come up, you have a concern, please email me and keep me in the loop. Uh, I do have student hours, I have a supervisor, there is no prereq, there is a co-rec. If you are in the co-rec, make sure you do not drop it. Uh, there is uh, student learning outcomes here you can read. Uh, last day to withdraw is the 18th of uh, next month. 10 point grading scale. Okay. How does how is your grade determined in this class? Let's spend some time talking about this. There are four exams. I'm going to look at this and the pacing guide at the same time ish. And you will look down here the exams one, two, three, four are all on Saturdays. You don't have to complete them on a Saturday, but they're due Saturday evening. If we click back over to Blackboard and go to coursework, again, this is the landing page where you spend most of your time. You will see exams. All exams have a two hour time limit. When you start the test, there's a timer in the upper right corner that ticks down. You get one attempt on each exam. Each exam is 15 questions long. Every test question, all 15 test questions, are pulled directly from the homework and lab assignments that lead up to that test. So, for example, can I get it? Yeah. Uh, test three here. Uh, after test two, we start section 3.2. So test three will cover 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, lab four, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, and lab five. They're not cumulative exams. They just cover the content since the last test. All 15 test questions you have seen at some point on these past homework and lab assignments. So taking good notes when you're doing your lab work and your homeworks will come in handy when it comes time to take the test. That is also true for the fourth exam. There's no cumulative exams in the class. The exams only cover the content since the last test. You get one attempt. There are four tests, seven and a half percent each. Tests make up 30 percent of your grade. I purposely set up the class so that you can fail all four exams and comfortably pass the class. So take tests seriously, don't get stressed out about them. You know, if you score a 50 on all four exams and you're taking care of business when it comes to uh, homeworks and labs, you would have uh, an 85 in the class, you'd have a very comfortable B. So don't get stressed out about exams. Uh, labs, we have the, a lab, and I'll, I'll show this on the pacing guide here. We have a lab every Thursday Thursday is lab day, with the exception of the first week because we uh, we start on Tuesday and not Monday, so I, don't, I didn't put a lab on week one. Um, labs cover the content since the last lab. So lab one will cover sections 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1.5, lab two, 1.6, 2.1, 2.2, you get the idea. Let's just open up a lab. Let's do lab four right here. Uh, there is no time limit on labs, and you get three attempts on each lab. The highest attempt is recorded. So here's some lab questions. Let's just go through. I doubt the answer is yes, but let's see if the answer is yes for any of these guys. All right, I just got a zero on this, so the answer wasn't yes, so oh well. Uh, this is attempt one. I can now retake this lab. This will be attempt two out of three, 
and then I could do attempt three out of three if I wanted to. So uh, take lab seriously, take your time, um, and I think a good recommendation is sit down, try the lab. If you get a good grade, great. If you realize, man, I really need some extra help on this, set up a tutoring appointment or go by for walk-in tutoring, sit down with someone, talk it out. Okay, I'm running low on time. I'm at the 10 minute mark here. Um, okay, so a lab every week except for week one. Labs also make up 30% of your grade. So if you do really well with labs, labs are worth just as much as tests. So if you're not a good test taker, or you get stressed out about tests, uh, strong lab grades is a great way to balance that. All right, last thing I want to talk about is your homework assignments. Um, going back to the pacing guide, you have a homework assignment due most Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. The exception being week one, uh, we don't have a homework, you know, this week we, we don't have anything due Tuesday because you're watching this video and completing the course entry assignment. And then uh, we also miss a Monday for eat an extra dessert day here on September 4th. Okay. Um, how do homework assignments work? So let's open one. This is 1.3 on rate of change. Uh, you can jump around questions on homework assignments. And I don't know, let's pick one to take a look at them. Let's sort of. All right, let's take this guy. Let's say the answer is yes. Oh, okay. So we looked at this question. We needed to find the rate of change from one to four. I thought the answer was yes, it wasn't. I got the question wrong, got an X mark here. I can get a similar question. Okay, yes was not the answer, let's try no. I just tried no, no is not the answer either. Another X mark, let's try this again. Uh, let's say yes and no. I'm not sure I'm on the right track with this. Apparently you can't even divide by no, I'm getting a syntax error. Over here, you see this number is ticking down from 99 to 98 to 97. Now it says 96. You get 100 attempts on each homework question. I would give you unlimited attempts if I could, but the system won't let me, so I only give you 100. If you, in good faith, use all 100 attempts, please reach out to me, but a student has never done that before. Um, let's try and get this correctly or get this get this question correct yay I got the question correct um, I received full credit for this question there is no penalty for trying there's no penalty for burning through attempts you can try a question six seven eight times when you finally get it correct you get full credit for it, for it. So it's in your best interest to budget time. I encourage you to budget two hours per homework assignment. Budget the time to take advantage of multiple attempts and get good, strong homework grades. Students that have strong homework grades do really well in the course. So uh, that's how the, the assignments work. Some other policies I just want to go over here. Um, late work, students, this is a very fast moving class and there's an assignment due every night. Students that fall behind really struggle to be successful in this course. So I, there's no blanket late policy. If you have extenuating circumstances, reach out to me and let me know. Keep me in the loop and together we can work out something to help you keep on track with this course. Otherwise, there's, otherwise there's, there's no extension. So um, make sure you're meeting due dates. If, you, if, if something comes up and you can't meet due dates, keep me in the loop. Uh, there's no extra credit. Um, you are required to attend class or to participate in the course to be enrolled in it. Um, if you miss four assignments, you can be withdrawn. Now, if you're keeping up with the work 
I, I'm going to keep you in the class. Uh, but if a student is missing assignments uh, and it's clear they're just not up to speed with what's going on in the class, I would rather see you receive a withdrawal than receive an F in the course. So I will withdraw you if you're not participating. Um, I think that's all the highlights. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out and email me. Um, I'm going to work really hard to get back to you as quickly as I can. Uh, and the, the big thing is I'm here to be a support and to help you. So keep me in the loop. Reach out if I can help. Um, and I'm excited about our semester together.